Hey y'all, just wanted to show off a new GEC that I got in. This is from their most recent run. This is the 81 pattern. And smooth yellow rose bone. Also called Texas yellow rose. This is genuine North American kettle bone. Um, uh, I had a 97 um, in yellow rose also. I um, really liked it. Ended up selling it, but glad to get this one in. Cool pin. And here it is. Here's the pile side first. This side actually has a little bit darker right in the center. As a lefty, first thing I try to look at is the pile side. But then the show side, awesome shield. Real good coloring. They match really well too. Sometimes I've seen ones where darker, lighter one side, and the other side will have like some white on the edges or you know way darker color. But these ones match real nicely. 81 pattern, um, single spring. Real cool engineering with that, I think. Assembly's got to be pretty damn difficult. Because the only real pin that's actually holding them both together is the center one, since both sides can go up. This has the match strike pull. Thumb nail nick, I guess. <laughs> Whatever you would call it. And, uh, actually, let me wipe that off. Let's see if I can get the etch in there. There you go. Pretty cool. It's a muskrat style blade. On the other side. This side has a little bit of an easy open. You kind of need that though. The way that the uh, the handles are, um, where they're sort of cockeyed one way. You kind of need that. Otherwise you would not be able to grab it, but you kind of need that. This is the Northfield trim, so they're nice and polished up. There is a little bit of blade rub. This side probably has the worst. See that little line right there? Not bad though. Again, single spring, super slim. See the stock on the uh, the blade? Super thin. Awesome cutting angle. And then with this one, you can see how it's sort of downturned more. So when you slice it, actually dig into it better. And then this side kind of reminds me of the old Batman uh, gas station knives, honestly. But you can see. Real nice. Awesome walk and talk on them. This one I'll probably end up using a, uh, um, I'll probably flush. Probably use a KLP. That's what I got. I know there's some controversy with it. People tend to go for gunny juice right now, but it's what I got. Paid money for it. I'm gonna use it. Yeah, really happy with how, how, how these turned out, actually. Size comparison-wise, here's the 65. Demco. And tactical pen, or tactical sharpie, rather. But, yeah. Thanks for watching.